Hello, my name is Miranda um, and today I'm going to be doing the Contradictions book tag um, which I saw Charlotte from Coiny Reads do um, and I thought that sounds fun. I don't have a load of time to film at the moment which is why I keep putting up videos on not Thursdays which is meant to be my upload day um, but yeah, I, I haven't planned anything. And normally when I do tags, I like prepare my answers because otherwise I can't remember any book I've read ever. Also, I can't remember who um, originally created this tag, but I will link the video in the description as well as um, Charlotte's video. So the first question is, um, I love this genre, but I didn't like this book. I mean, I could say any like historical fiction book that I didn't enjoy because I when I love historical fiction, I love it so much. Um, but a lot of the time, or more often than I'd like, um, it does disappoint me. So one book that I was really, really expecting to love because it just sounded like everything I wanted um, was The Confessions of Franny Langton by Sarah Collins. So this book is um, a dark um, historical fiction novel um, set in the Victorian era, all things that I love typically. Um, and it's also told from the perspective of um, Franny who is on trial at the beginning um, for killing um, her master and mistress um, because she's a servant in the house and she murdered them um, and basically it's her kind of telling her story about how she got to that point and trying to prove her innocence. Um, also um, as well as that she was in a relationship with her mistress um, kind of before they were killed. Basically this book had so many things including its genre but also like the um the fact that it has a sapphic relationship in it um it's sort of mysterious it's dark it's about um race and gender um it's about it's, it's one character telling their story um so many things so many things that I love in books and this one just kind of disappointed me um and I didn't really care about um any of it <laughs> I don't know why there was just something that was preventing me from connecting properly to it and I am really disappointed because so many people loved it um and it just wasn't for me so next is I rarely read this genre but I love this book so kind of the inverse of the first question I'm gonna keep calling them questions even if they're not phrased as questions um for this I I'm gonna have to have a think I'll come back to you <laughs> okay for this I'm gonna go with The Witch Elm by Tana French oh my god I have this one I can hold it up how exciting here she is so I rarely read thrillers um and this is a very unique thriller in that it's incredibly slow and um like not much happens so if you're going into this expecting lots of plot um you will be disappointed because there's a lot of like long parts of this book where not much happens at all but it's so good so this is about um a man called i think toby toby yes um and he essentially um suffers <coughs> from um a well his house is broken into um and he is attacked um so he goes to hospital and he kind of has lots of um sort of well trauma from this incident but also um his of it like his mobility and his health is kind of damaged as well um so it's all about him kind of adjusting to that but also at the same kind of time that he is recovering from this attack um a skull is found in the a tree um in his kind of childhood home um or of a home of his one of his family members that he used to visit as a child so uh, there's a sort of intersection of him trying to recover from um this attack and kind of trying to get used to um the new like what his body can do and can't do um anymore um but also trying to deal with this investigation um of where this skull has come from because there's a whole police investigation launched around it um and essentially him and his family are kind of caught up in it because he is staying at this house at the time it's it's very much about like family relationships and um sort of secrets and all that kind of stuff 
um, and it is so good and I got so into it um, yeah I just loved it um, it's so it's so well done and the characterization is brilliant um, I'm so excited to read more Tana French so the third question is um, I love this trope but I didn't like this book um, so I I'm gonna go with um, Red at the Bone by Jacqueline Woodson for this again I think I have it let me see yay I do have it the trope that I love that is in this book is a very specific one um, but I'm gonna go with it anyway um, and that is it's a book where you um, follow <laughs> multiple different perspectives of different characters um, but they're all in the same family and kind of linked to each other so they're all in each other's little sections but you get like their own individual perspective one by one if that makes sense I, I swear i've read a lot of books that have this kind of thing in it the only one i can think of right now is homegoing by yajasi um but yeah generally it's i love books with as many perspectives as possible give me all the perspectives um and especially kind of little snapshots but this book again similar to confessions of franny langton langton just did not work for me um and i don't really know why like i thought it was fine it was the kind of book where i enjoyed reading it um and there was nothing wrong with it while i was reading it but it's like i read this in at the beginning of this this year and i cannot remember a single thing about it and now the light's going really fun oh i'm gonna look like i'm on fire great um yeah i i can't really pinpoint what it was about this book that i didn't like because it was just fine um and again it was one that i was really expecting to love next is i hate this trope but i love this book um i don't know why i keep reading out the questions before i think of an answer i need to stop doing this i don't think i have an answer for this um because partly all the tropes that i don't like that i can think of that were in books that i did enjoy are spoilers um so as that but also I'm just kind of a miserable bitch um and I if if a book has something in it that I don't enjoy like a, a really long unnecessary villain monologue or like people being killed off dramatically at the end or like a you know massive unearned plot twist like that kind of stuff I it will ruin the book for me <laughs> and I will be like no you are not for me so I can't think of an answer for this question. There you go. Five is, I love this author, but I didn't like this book. Um, and again, this might be difficult because um, generally there aren't that many authors that I've read like multiple books by, um, apart from um, authors that I loved as a kid. Um, and if I don't like one of their books, I won't like it's it's quite rare that i will carry on reading an, from an author if i didn't like one of their books okay i've got one yay um so i think for this i'm gonna go with revenge by yoko Ogawa. um because even though i did like revenge um it's definitely not um like it it didn't <laughs> It didn't live up to my expectations, sadly, um, and I didn't like it as much as I loved um, the other two books of Yoko Ogawa's that I've read, which are The Housekeeper and The Professor and The Memory Police, um, which I really love. They're fantastic. I feel like this is going to be the catchphrase of the video, but Revenge just didn't do anything for me. Like, I, I can't really remember um, any of the stories. I didn't feel like there were any that I kind of got or like spoke to me in any way um which was disappointing like they were interesting and they were interesting concepts but um yeah they weren't really for me but i do still plan on you know continuing with yoko ogawa's work um because i do really love that like her writing um so i'm gonna carry on now number six is even harder because it's i previously disliked a book um by this author but i loved this book because i'm like if you can't impress me with one you don't get a second chance sorry about it especially books that i like actively disliked um because th i mean there are quite a lot of books that i'm i'm kind of i feel like so so about um but 
any book that I'm like, I didn't like it. I'm, I'm not going to carry on reading from that author. And that's just, that's just how I read. So maybe I'm going to not have an answer for this one either. Um, this feels like a cop out, but apparently I'm just, I'm not very contradictory <laughs> with my opinions. <laughs> Next is, I love this cover, but I didn't like this book. Um, and I have a feeling that there are going to be quite a few that I could say for this because um, I do love a pretty book. It has to be said. I think most recently, it probably I'd have to say The Antarctica of Love by Sarah Stridsberg. Um, the cover is gorgeous and it was partly what kind of drew me in because um, I read this um, as an arc on NetGalley um, and the cover looks like this or maybe even this I don't know which side I put pictures on at this point who knows um and it's gorgeous I really love it um and the description sounded amazing as well and I was like cool but um it just didn't work for me and that was a real shame because I thought it was going to be great but it was just a bit sort of repetitive and Honestly, I can't remember the other reasons I didn't like it, but I didn't. <laughs> I'll link the video I talk about it in um, the description below um, if you want to go and find out more about why it didn't work. And the last question is, I don't like this cover, but I love this book. Um, and I'm going to try and find um, on this shelf a cover of a book that I really love that I don't like the cover. That didn't make any sense, that sentence good lord i'm gonna try and find a book that i love that has a bad cover let's go okay um for this i'm gonna go with nightingale point by luan goldie um i love the color scheme of this cover um like the teal and yellow i think is really lovely but i don't like the sort of stripes and the people on the bottom i don't know i just i'm not a fan of this and I'm not a fan of like the the font or the I'm just uh, overall this cover doesn't do anything for me but the book is fantastic and I loved it um and it made me cry a little bit I love you but you're ugly sorry <laughs> and that was the contradictions book tag thank you very much for watching um I don't know what I was gonna say <laughs> I'm not going to tag anybody because, I don't know, I'm, I, just do it if you want, I'm tagging everybody, screw it. Um, this was fun, I enjoyed this, um, I'm really sorry that I was so unprepared, um, I didn't come up with answers for some of the questions, but sometimes there just aren't answers for everything, not every question has an answer, and that's okay. My TBR is currently at this number is almost definitely the same as last week because I don't think I finished a book recently. Um, I'm I, I'm reading Ask Again Yes right now by Mary Beth Keane and I'm loving it. It's really good, but I'm reading it very slowly. And also, I don't I'm not in the mood to start an audiobook. I want to listen to audiobooks, but I don't want to have to start a new one. Um, <laughs> so that's where I'm at. Um, yeah, I've currently finished like. I think I put one book for September or something. It was like almost the 20th. It's fine. Everything's fine. Anyway, please chat with me down in the comments. Um, I love hearing from you. Um, it's my favourite. Um, and I guess I will see you soon. Who knows when? <laughs> I have no idea. Um, who knows with what? <laughs> but I will be there, hopefully. Fingers crossed. Uh, maybe. <laughs> anyway, thank you so much for watching. I will see you soon.